Hey guys, Zach here with Imaging Spectrum, showcasing another cool product from Polytape today. While we're going to focus on their sublimation offerings, I do want to let you know that they have printing options for solvent, resin, sublimation, as well as masks needed for transfers. And if you're looking for something with a matte finish, a clear finish, or even a glossy finish, Polytape very likely has something here for you. Now, today I wanted to focus on the subly flock material, which is going to be fantastic for transferring onto dark cotton materials that you normally couldn't. This is going to be a two-step process that's going to allow us to actually sublimate onto 100% dark materials, both polyester and cotton, and give us a cool raised feel while doing it. So first I want to show you the process to get this going properly. I'm going to start inside of Illustrator. Um, of course, find the image that you want to work with, and we are going to create a cut line. Now, I'm going to use our Graph Tech cutter today, but you can do the same thing with your Silhouette or your Cricut as well. Um, any cutter will do the job just fine. So since I am using the Graph Tech cutter, I'm going to use the Cutting Master 4 software to cut and plot this one here. Again, just doing some basics, checking my sizing, make sure I have exactly what I want laid out, and then we're going to send this bad boy over to the cutter. Now it's important that you adjust your blade height to make sure you're not going through the entirety of the material. You want to do just that top surface so we can apply that properly to our garment. The weeding process is not hard, but you do want to be careful not to rip any material. So again, make sure that your blade does go through the full first layer of the subly flock. With this portion complete, we're going to go over to our 100% black cotton t-shirts. I'm going to do a quick lineup here and just give it a quick about five second press to make sure it lays flat in place. Of course, remember to use your protective sheet to protect the garment. And like I said, I'm only going to do about five seconds here, make it really quick just to make sure that I have this in place properly where I like it. And then we'll line it up with our actual printed sublimated material here. One pro tip I recommend is cutting out the printed material before. This will help you actually line up. Now you can see I'm not doing a fantastic job, just a quick, easy, rough cut so I can line this up better on my material. Now back to the subly flock. I'm going to do my best to line this up properly. You could always use heat transfer tape if you need to. Just for this example, I'm going to line it up with my eye though. Again, apply your protective sheet one more time. And since we are using the Epson transfer material, we want to do about 30 seconds at least to make sure that our colors get nice and vibrant for this. Once complete, we will go ahead and remove both. And there you have a 100% completed black cotton garment with a cool raised feel to it and gorgeous colors. Again, all using sublimation material. So this two-step process can be really cool. I do want to reiterate, though, that Polytape has a ton of other offerings for both solvent and resin printing as well, which we're going to explore soon. So if you have any questions about the possibilities that these printers can offer, do not hesitate to reach out. I cannot wait to talk to you about it. See you soon.